So today we're going to talk about the quality of water that you drink and its importance in your life. Think about this. How long can you actually go without air? Maybe a minute? Pretty important stuff. And how long can you go without water or any form of hydration? Well, most experts would say no longer than about three or four days. So we can all agree about the importance of water and its necessity in your life. Are you with me? Now, let's talk about the quality and the type of water that you're drinking and show you how much it matters. So what you're looking at here is Omega Global's Amwater Actify water machine. And I'm going to explain the importance of drinking energized ionized water. The Amwater Actify machine is the only water machine in the world that has ionized, restructured water that is also energized using our proprietary technology of amized fusion technology, or AFT. So the first property of the water that I'm going to demonstrate, and you can do this at home, is the energization, or the AFT, zero point resonance, that's in the water and how quickly it can make your body stronger and more balanced. So the first property that I'm going to demonstrate using a balance test is the energization that's in the M Water Actify. I'm going to take a little bit of water from the M flask. And Jeanette, if you wouldn't mind, just stand with your feet together and hold the palm of your hand like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some pressure and see what it takes to take her off balance. Apply a little bit of, okay. <laughs> Didn't take a whole lot there, right? right? Now let's see what happens after we give her a little bit of our AM Water Actify. Take a few sips. Just let it get into your body. Okay. Now the exact same thing. Let's see if there's any difference. Whoa! <laughs> any difference? I feel planted. Really? Yes. Do you feel any stronger? I feel much stronger. And that was just a couple of sips. Imagine what happens when you drink this water on a regular basis and how the energization that's in the water affects your body. Now let's talk about the first problem with our current drinking water or tap water and that's chlorine. So back during the First World War when chlorine related gases were used to kill 500,000 people, it was considered big business. Well, after the war, when the chemical companies that had been producing the gas had to find another use for the massive production that they were left with. And the plan was to introduce it into our municipal water system so that it would kill bacteria. This would eliminate all bacteria-borne diseases. And it worked. It got rid of the bacteria-borne diseases, but what were the results? Well, I'm going to invite you to Google the, this exact phrase, adverse effects of chlorinated city water. And what you'll find is that the increase in cases of cancer, heart disease, and miscarriages precisely mirrors the distribution of chlorine in our city water. Now let's see if there's any chlorine in our city tap water or the M Water Actify. I'm going to take a little bit of tap water here and pour some in this glass. A little bit of the M Water Actify. And I'm just going to use a simple chlorine test solution drop. Put a couple of drops in there and a couple of drops in here. And to mix those around and see if we can detect any chlorine. The lighter it is, no chlorine obviously. The darker that is, more chlorine. So does our Actify water have any chlorine in it? You can clearly see by looking at this chart there's no chlorine. If I move it over here, where are we at in this scale? Somewhere in between 1 and 1.5, very high on the chlorine detection chart. Now we're going to see what happens when we wash our vegetables in tap water to the chlorine. I'm going to use an onion and just cut a few slices here. You can use any kind of fruit or vegetable. I prefer onions because it's white. Just going to stick them in there and act as if I'm running them under tap water. I'm going to use the tap water here. Just 
gonna mix them around. Similar experience as if you were washing the onion underneath your sink or your top. Gonna drain that. Now, let's see if there's any chlorine left in the water. Where do you think the chlorine went? So there's no chlorine in the water, so what you're actually doing is adding chlorine into the fruits and vegetables that you think you're cleaning using your city tap water. Now, let's take a look at what's happening to cause aging and sickness in our bodies. I think everyone would agree that every day, the things we eat and the air we breathe is causing oxidative stress on the body. And that means that electrons are eating away at healthy cells without replacing them. In order to combat this, you actually need antioxidants in your body. Now let's demonstrate using some common liquids that most of you consume every day and see whether they're contributing as an antioxidant or placing more oxidative stress on your body. I'm going to be using a medical meter called an ORP meter, uh, which measures whether a liquid is oxidative which will display a positive figure or an antioxidative which will contribute to your health and the meter will display a negative figure. So the first thing we're going to measure is the air that we breathe and we're going to find out if it has a positive or causing oxidative stress to our body measurement or an antioxidative measurement and I've asked Jeanette to help us. So I'm just going to wiggle this around. Tell me what the figure is that you see displayed. Positive 236. So now let's measure each of the liquids that you see in front of me. I'm just going to tap this in and we'll have Jeanette tell us what the reading says. Positive 182. Okay, perfect. So that's Dasani and Aquafina. Let's give it a minute. Okay, positive 152. So each of those are highly oxidative to the body. And spring water. 220, positive 225. Okay, so it continues to be highly oxidative. And the power aid, where's that going? Positive 304. Wow, so a, quite a jump. And then we move into the Sprite. Positive 271. And our city tap water, give it a second. Positive 246. So let's see what the Amwater Actify does. What's the reading you see there? Wow, negative 270. Wow, so that's a swing from a positive 200 and I think it was around 40 to 270. That's over 500 point swing using the ORP meter. So the only liquid that you see in front of you that was causing antioxidative value to our body, helping us get rid of that oxidative stress, is the Amwater Actify. Now we're going to talk about the importance of getting your body to a homeostatic balance just by changing the water that you drink. Dr. Otto Warburg, a Nobel Prize winner in the early 1900s, discovered that every single person that has been diagnosed with cancer has a pH value that's acidic in the body. That means that every healthy person has a pH that's alkalized. So the goal should be to stay alkalized, but every day the average person is eating and drinking things that cause acid in the body. And most would never stay consistently on a diet where they would be able to achieve an alkaline pH. The diet that I'm referring to is changing everything you eat to only green, leafy, raw vegetables. So you can see how difficult that might be. What we're looking for is another way, one that we can stick to. So now I'm going to test some common liquids using pH test solution drops and see whether they're contributing to our alkalinity or causing acidity in the body. You can get these test solution drops either come, they come with the machine or you can buy them at any pool shop. Okay, so 
let's see what we have here. I've got a alkalization chart and we can see based on the chart anything below neutral is going to cause acid in the body or sickness. Dasani shows up somewhere between 2.5 and 5.5. Um, the uh, Aquafina is even a little bit worse. It's right down there at 2.5. Spring water you'll notice is neutral and we'll get back to that in just a minute. The Gatorade or Powerade is showing up right at 2.5 acidity. The Sprite is showing up somewhere down here at 2.5 as well. So all of those liquids are causing sickness or aging in the body. The tap water is showing up as neutral. The reason for that is that the city is obligated to deliver you neutral water. The way that they get it to neutral is by adding chemicals like chlorine and lye. And let's see what we've got down here with the M water Actify. Definitely a purple water, which is what we're looking for. So of all the liquids here, the only one that's contributing to our health is the AM water Actify. Now back to the spring water. The reason I want to point it out is if you're going on vacation and aren't able to bring the Actify unit with you and you absolutely have to make a choice for bottled water, the only one you want to choose, although it's very oxidative on your body, is spring water. Make sure you stay away from these waters, which the Japanese actually refer to as dead water. So now that we've demonstrated the energization, the filtering system that gets rid of chlorine and other harmful chemicals, and the pH level of our water that's contributing to getting your body back to perfect pH, let's talk about the final property of the Amwater Actify, and that is microclustering. H2O molecules typically travel in clusters of about 15 to 20, whereas our water coming from the Amwater Actify machine travels in clusters of about 5 to 7. So I like to describe it using this analogy. Imagine if you threw a bunch of softballs at a chain link fence. Not many of them would get through, right? But imagine if you threw a handful of golf balls at a chain link fence all of them would make it through. So when you drink our microclustered energized water, it's actually penetrating the cellular wall so that you actually get hydrated. In fact, you'll feel hydrated for the first time in your life. So you're never going to get that full sloshy feeling that you would from drinking regular bottled water. Isn't that great? That also means that when you take a nutrition product, say our DNA along with the AM water, you'll actually get the full benefits delivered to your cells that much better. Now, I want to leave you with this thought. Our AM water Actify unit is the best of its kind in the world. It provides highly alkalized water, filtered water, antioxidant water, microclustered water, but the best part is that we are the only manufacturer of ionized water that's energized with the resonance of zero point energy.